Hey everyone, Sky Sensei here with another quick video. I had a few comments about using blade scale with bow and I thought I would share my thoughts in case some of you are new to the weapon. I'll describe this skill and how it benefits these bow users, but the short answer for those of you who are wondering, yes, blade scale is a wonderful skill to add for the casual bow user, but it's going to take some grinding to fit it into your builds. If you are a DPS and efficient or like a more like meta dereliction user, the skill might not be your highest priority skill. Before title update 1, this was a little bit hard to fit into our builds, but with title update 1, it's given us a little bit more space to add with the new augmenting system and some new armor that have more spaces. So for those of you new, let's talk about blade skill first. For bow users, this skill grants us a buff to our close range coatings when you successfully dodge an attack that's about to hit you. This does include a successful dodge bolt counter on attacks and roars. With the new Quarrier augmenting system and newer armors with a bunch of extra space, namely Silver Athlos armor, and the new Adrenaline Rush, there's a lot more reasons to fit in Blade skill now as compared to before. Adrenaline Rush is another one of my favorite skills from Title Update 1 and I made a previous video on it, but it essentially grants you extra damage for doing a dodge bolt yet again. So with a proficient use of dodge bolt, you can maintain that boosted attack power about 90 to 95% of the hunt, and that skill lasts 30 seconds upon a single activation, and so does blade skill. So they kind of really pair really well together. So if you are a bow user that uses close range coatings quite a bit, like most casual bow hunters, or if you're partaking in a longer anomaly quest, or you're just learning a monster, blade skill can be very beneficial for you dodge bolt gamers. With the activation of blade skill, 0.1 gets added to the multiplier of close range coatings. So compared to the usual 1.2x multiplier, blade skill brings this up to 1.3. And that lasts for about 30 seconds just like adrenaline rush. So it's some good extra damage for basically no extra actions besides dodge bolt, which you are already doing. Now power coatings are still better than this close range coatings even with blade skill. Power coatings are a 1.35 multiplier and you can see in this video that the damage values on the right are slightly higher with the power coatings than the close range with blade skill on the left. But of course extra damage is always better than none. Keep in mind you have a limited amount of 70 power coatings without restocking at the tent during a hunt. For me personally in multiplayer hunts I don't use power coatings as often since it's harder to keep track of the monster and predict the monster positions, you might miss some of your power coating shots. So I tend to stick with close range coatings for comfort and fun hunts. For this purpose, I'm enjoying the use of blade scale to boost my damage even more and get me that much closer to the power coating damage. Now of course I still switch to power coatings on big knocks and big openings because it's easy opportunities to nail some strong damage. Now in terms of sets, you really are going to want to focus on Quario augmenting to either number 1 get blade scale on the armor itself, or number 2 replace the current level 2 or 3 jewels like critical boost, tenderizer, agitator, whatever you have on your build. If you can roll these on the armors, obviously you can slot in blade scale into the extra slots you have. In terms of how much you want, quite honestly even one level is sufficient enough. If you get hit a lot, you will definitely lose this buff, but if you're proficient with dodgeball to the point that you can dodgeball 2 to 3 attacks in a row before getting hit, you'll most likely be able to maintain this buff throughout the hunt, since level 1 grants blade scale 50% of your dodge bolt hits. You're essentially confirmed to have this rebuffed after 3 dodge bolts, so unless you're super unlucky, I wouldn't spend more than 1 slot for this skill. In my current set here, I rolled an agitator on the Gore Magala helmet, so that let me remove 1 agitator jewel from my build and I was able to slot in blade skill. That's all I really needed, so for my other augments, I focused on other skills like extra critical eye for more affinity and critical element for extra element damage on those critical hits. Again, this is tailored a little bit more to the casual gamer in a typical non-dereliction set. If you do run dereliction, I'm sure there's some more endgame builds out there from Titus or Sith that might be more beneficial to you. My guess here is if you're running dereliction, you would probably want to focus resentment as a bonus skill. Just so you have that constant attack boost on all your coatings, including power coatings. So yeah, that about wraps it up for this skill guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys give this a try or if you have other skills that you're combining and experimenting with. I am absolutely loving all the combinations people are coming up with with this choreo system. It's making for some cool diverse sets. So yeah, that's it for the quick video guys. Just something that I got asked about a bit so I thought I'd share in case you guys didn't know about blade scale with bows. 
I will throw this out here. If you guys want to hunt with the community, come and join my Discord. The link is in the description. If that doesn't work, just let me know in the comments. I'll get you guys another link. But you can come hang out with us. We're hunting almost every day on the Discord together. So it's been a lot of fun. And I'd like to get to know you guys. So come and join the community. So thank you guys for joining. And until next time, stay safe, be happy, and keep hunting. Sky Sensei is out.